Here we are with part two with clinical nutritionist Lauren Talbot. Lauren's taken us around the health shops and she's shown us different tips and tricks to cut the fat, maybe help with digestion. So stay tuned in here for part two with Lauren Talbot. Well, as you can tell, I do occasionally like a triple dipple ripple. <laughs> so are there some uh, suggestions maybe you could make as far as desserts, frozen desserts, alternatives to mainstream ice cream? Definitely. Everyone likes a little ice cream, but a lot of people are noticeably lactose intolerant. So you kind of want to stay away from the dairy products. So if you're going completely away from dairy, there are some awesome coconut ice creams. Um, I like coconut. Yeah, I mean, some of them taste more coconutty than other ones. So coconut, what, coconut replaces the milk, basically? Yeah, so that's the milk. base of it? Okay. And coconut's very creamy, and it's got a delicious natural fat in it. Um, some of them are sweetened with agave, some of them are natural sugars, but they're really quite good. So you just cover it, you can even sprinkle some unsweetened cocoa powder, and you've got yourself some homemade coconut. Delicious coconut chocolate ice cream? Yeah. Ice coconut? So let me show you a couple. Okay, cool. Um, uh, here's one company. This is purely decadent coconut milk, vanilla bean ice cream. You would love this one. Sounds good. There's also another company that is coconut ice cream. Coconut Bliss ice cream. Dark chocolate this coconut bliss. This is dark bliss. chocolate. I love chocolate. I'm a chocolate person. <laughs> um, now if you want to head back over to more back into the dairy ice cream, um, there's a brand called Lalu's and they Lalu's. make, instead of cow milk, which can be very difficult to digest because of a certain protein in the cow milk, you can use goat milk. Um, it doesn't have the same protein. So okay. it's much easier on the stomach. A lot of people, kids too, have an easier time digesting goat milk than they do cow milk. Mm -hmm. So Lalu, I don't know if you oh, can there see it. Yeah, I see it up there. Lalu is Black Mission Fig, Deep Chocolate. So they have a couple of different yeah. types of uh, flavors. And you know, those are, they're, they're not health foods, of course. They're ice cream, they're treats, yeah. but they're so much better for you than the alternative. Easier to digest than the mainstream stuff. Yeah. Hey guys, we're here at the health shop again with Lauren Talbot. And we're at a section that I absolutely love. I'm a big pasta fan, and Lauren was sharing with us earlier that regular straight-up pasta is not as good as it really should be. So, Lauren, you have some uh, options maybe for a guy that really loves pasta? Absolutely, Mike. Um, I love these products, the Vita Svelte elbows and the Kamut elbows, and even for those who are avoiding gluten for whatever reason, um, the quinoa. And this is great because it's not the whole wheat bleach flour, so your body's going to digest it so much easier and it won't be converted into the, the sugar. And you know what? Even better, they taste good. Hey guys, we're having a great time at the health shop today. There's lots of activity. Yeah. Inadvertently, other customers will walk in front of the camera, but hey, it is the real parents and we're here with Lauren Talbot. We've decided yeah. to make our way to the milk section here at the health yeah. shop. So, you were saying before dairy traditional cow's milk obviously is not the greatest thing because of the cassia and the protein in there and very difficult to digest so some great options would be um i have you holding a hazelnut milk which is a very tasty and creamy and it's even sweet too um and on almond milk and these nut milks are so much easier for the body to digest and they taste great in cereal they taste great in smoothies um and now if you're a guy and you're looking to increase your protein um Hemp milk actually has a lot more protein than the other ones. Um, and they're all just really delicious and great alternatives to something like milk that's harder to digest. So we got these cool products. Okay, so we got hazelnut, almond, and then uh, hemp milk. Yeah. Uh, hemp, hemp, hemp milk. <laughs> and for the parents, um, actually, these almond milks usually come in those little tiny juice box forms. So just the other day, you can. I threw, um, gave my sister some cereal for lunch, and she brought a banana and her own little almond milk. She made her own cereal for lunch. Oh, that's a cool idea. That's a great tip. So, I guess we'll move on and take a look at some other things here in the health, in the health shop. But some great ideas for milk alternatives, which uh, can certainly help if you have any respiratory issues. You want to get away from the dairy, the traditional dairy, and these types of products can help us. And so, we'll catch you guys in a minute. Okay, we're back now. Speaking of milk, we need a little something to put it on, right? So we have some healthy alternatives for cereal as well. Yep. You know, uh, Sandy, a lot of times cereal can have so much sugar in it that you're kind of wondering why, what's nutritious for it. Right. Um, I love Barbara's brand of cereal because 
she uses all natural, you know, Barbara, my friend, Barbara, right. <laughs> she, she uses all natural um, ingredients. Like this one has whole oat flour, and whole wheat flour, and it's sweetened with a little bit of molasses. Oh, okay. Um, they taste great. They're crunchy, they're delicious, they don't get soggy and way, like, gross in your cereal bowl. Right, right. Um, I know you mentioned that your kids love Enviro Kids Organics. Um, this is, like, chocolate Krispies. Come on, you can't get better than chocolate Krispies. It's a Rice Krispie alternative. It is, and you know, this one's got, it's made of rice and organic cocoa and sweetened molasses. This is some good stuff, guys, and it tastes good. Your right. kids are not going to want to be reaching for that really high sugar processed white flour yeah. cereal. Yeah. This is the Jane, line one, Jane. Oh, They're calling line for Jane one. right now, but <laughs> we're going to stick with the cereals for now. But you know what? Our kids love this brand. You said these are some other great brands. Barbara's yeah. are good tasting cereals. So I think, you know, you feel better putting something in your bowl in the morning, a little almond milk on it perhaps, instead of going with the, with the whole milk or with the dairy products. And I think it's just a little bit more healthy. I think I feel better just talking to you about putting this in my kid's bowl in the morning. Guys, and just the best way to pick a cereal, say if you're not in a health shop, is look at the ingredients. You want to, the less ingredients, the better. And you want to look at for something that's got whole brown rice or whole corn instead of unbleached wheat, like unbleached flour. Flour doesn't sound like too good, yeah. Or if you have a list of ingredients that are like this Brand, long. please call 107, Brand 107. Brand, can you get that call? <laughs> If you have a list of ingredients like this long, you have to think of it as your body digests just as um, the simplest ingredients. So if you had a long math problem, it's going to take you a long time to figure it out. Right. But a short math problem is going to be easier for your like body and for you to break, out, yeah, break down. Yeah, that's so. a good analogy there. Okay, great. Well, we are here at the Health Food Shops in Marstown, New Jersey with Lauren Talbot, the clinical nutritionist. And what's a great website for people to get a hold of you if they want to get some more information about your practice and maybe get some tips and tricks from you? You also have your health blog? Yep. I have a health blog, which is diaryofanutritionist.com. And then my private consulting company is inpurebliss.com. Okay. So you can just go to I-N-P-U-R-E-B-L-I-S-S.com -S and shoot me an email or give me a call. My number's on there, too. And I'll be happy to help. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you being with us today. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time on TheRealParents.com.